What's up, Urban Acolyte family? My name is Prince, and I'm an Urban Acolyte. And it's actually pretty warm outside or warm today, so I think I'm going to actually uh, drop the cloak for this video because I'm already hot, and these lights are just making me hotter. Anyway, um, this episode of Star Wars Chats is going to be very uh, impromptu. I'm really shooting straight from the dome because I wasn't planning on doing this video, I was actually going to do the video that I've had planned for weeks and had notes for on um, Jen Erso's mother, Lyra Erso, and how she was supposed to be a Jedi. But um, as I was kind of uh, thinking about what video I was going to uh, post today and uh, watching Morgan Freeman's uh, National Geographic series on, I think, Looking for God, uh, I started kicking around these thoughts about uh, people talking about Ray turning to the dark side. And uh, as I thought more about it, I said, you know what? I just need to go upstairs, turn on the microphone, turn on the camera, put this stuff out there and uh, share my thoughts with you guys. So this isn't really in reference to anyone's video. So if anybody um, has posted a YouTube video and they talked about Ray possibly turning to the dark side in episodes eight and nine, um, this, I haven't watched any of those videos, so it, 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 it's completely coincidental. So I'm not taking shots at anybody. So don't go out there creating beef that doesn't exist. Uh, this really, uh, anybody who, uh, follows like, or any of you guys who know what I post on Facebook on my personal page, right? This actually started actually started before then, but I made a post back when we first got the announcement of the uh, episode eight, the name of the, the episode eight movie, The Last Jedi, because people were going around saying, oh, well, I think it's The Last Jedi. It's the end of the Jedi. Uh, Rey is going to turn to the dark side and she's going to kill Luke. And I basically said, look, what part of the hero's journey is it where the hero turns to the dark side or becomes evil and kills the mentor or the wizard or the wise person on the side of the road? Like, do you guys even Joseph Campbell? But seriously, I think that it should be a requirement. If you're going to talk about Star Wars, if you're going to start making speculations, I really feel like it should be a requirement that you have read you know something about the hero's journey. And I mean, the hero with a thousand faces is a pretty long book, but you should be familiar with some of this. I mean, seriously, if you're like, if you, if you were going to go and work for the Lucasfilm story group, you have to know about those books. You have to understand that formula to work on a uh, star Wars where you're dealing with a young hero who could possibly play a part in the future of the Jedi order if we're going to have a jedi order moving forward or anything related to the force you have to know that right like pablo hidalgo said to work for the lucasfilm story group you've got to be uh well versed in uh literature or um uh, philosophy uh, mythology right which means that <laughs> the stuff that joseph campbell studied that inspired george lucas you need to understand so um get into the question why would Ray turn to the dark side? For me, I just, I can't see it. And really, I think that a lot of people um, who say this, and I, this is me, I haven't looked into anyone who's made a strong case for this, right? Remember, I said I haven't watched anyone's YouTube video that's dealt with that. It's mainly just things I've seen floating around in my comment section or floating around on Facebook pages or actually the only people that I've actually seen on YouTube say, oh, I think Ray is going to go to the dark side is the guys on the Collider Jedi Council. Um, and I'm not attacking them. Uh, so, you know, take it how you want. But when they said that, like a lot of times because of the nature of the show, it's like we'll throw something out there and there's not going to be a lot to support it because the way the show goes, they can't spin. And we're going to spend 30 minutes talking about why we think Ray will go to the dark side, right? It's just the, the time that I heard it, and that was last year, right? That was a long time ago when I, I like, it was uh, one of the episodes with, like, the first time, um, what's her name, Perry Nemiroff was on there. Um, so, and, and I haven't been watching them recently because I've been too busy, but there wasn't a lot of explanation given for why Ray would fall to the dark side. And what was given, I kind of looked at it like, 
yeah, you guys aren't really for 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 some of the fans, but for people who who are really reading everything and getting deep into Star Wars, it, that's not a convincing argument or a reason that's going to convince me why Ray would go to the dark side. What I'm seeing from a lot of people is that Kylo Ren will go to the light, he'll be redeemed, and Ray will go to the dark side. And I'm like, you know, that's already been told. That was that's the freaking Knights of the Old Republic. Basically, you want a, another. Um, uh, you know, you want to see Revan and Bastila played out in this saga. And if we're going to go there, then you got to think about why did Bastila turn to the dark side, right? Like what I want to do, I don't, I'm not calling everybody dumbasses and this, uh, I want people to think critically. And sometimes I'm very harsh with how I do that. But if you've had the, the, the professors that I've had in nuke school in the Navy and in my time in grad school, <laughs> the things that I say on my channel are, are really the same things that I've had from, from these people with PhDs from Harvard and Yale and these and Princeton and these Ivy League schools, right? Like they cuss in their classrooms, right? Um, my, uh, professor that I had in, uh, for, uh, a philosophy class at Vanderbilt Divinity School was taught by Cornell West, right? He started a lecture out with this motherfucker Trump. So when I said this motherfucker Snoke, right, I was channeling uh, Victor, Dr. Victor Anderson and what he said about Trump. I said it about Snoke, right? And some of you guys love that. And I said, maybe I should tell you guys where I, who I was channeling when I went off about Snoke was this professor talking about Trump, right? But anyway, my point is, we got to think critically. If you're going to hang out here, if you're going to hang out with the big kids and talk about Star Wars on a, on a, in the urban acolyte community, we got to think critically about everything. You can't just say, oh, Ray is going to go to the dark side. Why? Why is she going to go to the dark side? Why is Kylo Ren going to be redeemed? Because I just said we've already seen that with Revan and Bastila. Why did Bastila fall to the dark side? She fell to the dark side because she was trying to rescue Revan because he had just had the reveal, the big reveal, you know, in the Knights of the Old Republic game that this... This, this, this person, this soldier or scoundrel or however you started out, this person who's an adult, oh, it's magically, magically this guy is, is just the right moment. He's strong with the force and he's a full grown adult, but he can go through Jedi training and progress faster than anyone has ever progressed from a Padawan to a Jedi Knight. And now you're facing Malik and Malik says, they didn't tell you. <laughs> they wiped your mind. You're Revan, dude. I can't believe this. Oh, the irony. And you're not even strong enough to fight Malik yet because, you know, you, you don't have enough levels. Your levels aren't high enough. You got to you got to play through some more of the game. You're only halfway into the game. Right. And so Basila says, you keep fighting him. I'll keep I'll hold him off. You get away because it's important that you find, you know, the rest that you, you find the Star Forge or whatever these maps are leading us to. So we can finally take down whatever Revan so we can finish what Revan started right so that's that's so the game can continue Bastila is tortured by Malik she turns to the dark side and then when you come back at the end of the game you've got the big choice what are you gonna because you know it's like have you decided oh I'm gonna go back to the dark side it's really a game-based decision are you gonna or if you're on the dark side and you're not going to and you're going to keep Bastila on the dark side and y'all can go and make some dark side babies. Or if you stayed on the light side and now you're going to pull her back to the lights like all of that is part of the game. Right. So when people start when you start trying to make this story and say, well, it happened in this story. And I'm not saying that's what people are doing, but subconsciously, that's what I see a lot of people doing is they're trying to take the story of Basila and Revan and apply it to Kylo Ren and Rey. And that's not original. We've already seen that. Like if I see that in the movie, I mean, I'll make videos about it. And what I'm, what am I going to say in the video? Well, damn, like, okay, Knights of the Old, they took Knights of the Old Republic, that story and like wrote it into they made it canon but it's like kylo ren is revan and ray is bastila and i've i've said that in videos too i said you know what you guys would go crazy if they did that the people who were fans of that game 
people would, I mean, some people would love it, but for me, I'm like, wow, that's cool. Like I love the game and now they've incorporated that into, but then at the same time, I'm like, but at the same time, I played that game in 2003, 2004, 2003. Yeah. I played it the winter of 2003, right? Before I went into the Navy and I've seen that story. I'd kind of like to see something different, right? So I just, I haven't seen anyone make a strong case. Why would Ray turn to the dark side? She going to turn like, and, and then I don't think people have a really strong understanding of what, what makes someone turn to the dark side. Like, Ray doesn't have any attachments yet. She had, does she have an attachment to her family? And on that attachment note, because I haven't really seen, uh, I, I, I tried to watch like one channel and they talked about like, uh, the, the Jedi order going gray to, to get rid of the, the issue with attachments and Anakin's issue with attachments. And I started, I, I had to stop and I don't remember whose channel it was. I'm not, I really don't want to give them any publicity for the video because I thought it was awful because you have no understanding of what attachment means, right? To start talking about this stuff, you, you've got, you've have to dig into the source material. You have to understand what attachment means for a Buddhist, right? Anakin's attachment is, oh, Anakin wanted to have a wife and the Jedi Order said he couldn't and he wanted to get laid and these guys are, are virgins up in the Jedi Temple and it, 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 it wasn't any of that. Attachment doesn't mean you can't have a wife, you can't have a house, can't have kids, can't have this. Jedi, what, what did Obi-Wan Kenobi say to Anakin? Your lightsaber is your life, right? That's an attachment. Right. They wear these same robes everywhere they go. That's all. It, that's a fucking attachment. Right. You have to ha like in life, you have to be. It's not. It, they they have stuff. They have stuff. You have a connection to your kyber crystal. That's an attachment. Right. That's not what attachment means, though. Right. Um, in Buddhism, you have attachments to things and attachments cause suffering, right? And I, I, I wrote a paper on this. It was in my admissions essays to get into Vanderbilt Divinity School uh, that I wrote two years ago. I should have looked at it, but I said I'm shooting straight from the dome, right? But this word, the, this suffering, that this uh, uh, attachment that causes suffering, whatever the word is that the Buddha used in his language, it meant like you're strangling yourself, but you're trying to breathe at the same time. Think about it. I'm trying to breathe air, but I'm choking myself off. Uh, you know, it's like you're force choking yourself and you're trying to breathe and you're like, oh, oh. why, why is my windpipe constricting? Because I'm fucking choking myself. I cannot breathe. I either have to let go so that I can breathe or stop breathing and die. Right. So think about that. That's what attachment means. It's like you're trying to thrive, but you're doing something that stops you from thriving. You're killing yourself. Right. And the thing is, you don't realize you're doing it. So when when Yoda says, you know, this is the path to the dark side, fear leads to hate uh, or anger and anger leads to hate and hate leads to suffering. And I know I messed that up, but it doesn't matter. Right? Like if you're getting upset because I messed that up, you know, shave your head and go to sleep because that's not the point. The point is what I'm teaching about attachment. What I'm saying is that you do all these things, right? And they create these emotions. They create a state of dis-ease. And that is the path to the dark side. So where does Ray have that? We haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen enough, right? Like she has fear, right? But she hasn't started training yet. That's the whole point of the, of what the Jedi do is the Jedi are like, like what the Buddha does is like the Buddhist teachings. It's the Dharma. It's, it's the Dharma, right? It's the path. It's the way, right? And that's the mistake. That's what I see Luke doing and Ray perpetuating as we move forward, right? Is that the Jedi had this path to end, end, uh, the suffering right to stop people from turning to the dark side but instead they became we're just gonna we're the enforcers of truth and peace and justice and we're gonna cut the dark side down with our lightsabers and instead of teaching 
They became the hoarders. We're hoarding all the knowledge, right? If you read the visual guide about these different, these other orders on Jeddah, they have issues with the Jedi, right? They're like, the Jedi use lightsabers. You're literally making a weapon of the force, right? Because the Kyber crystal is a physical manifestation of the force. If you read Catalyst, you'll know that. <laughs> That's why you should read kids and adults. Um, so they have a physical manifestation of the force and they turn it into a weapon. So building the Death Star, is that a bad thing? No, because we're only doing what the Jedi are already doing, right? They're cutting people down, ending their lives. We're just doing it on a bigger scale. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm like preaching. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in a flow state. God damn it. <laughs> Woo. But anyway, my point is, right? What I, where was I? I was talking about Luke reforming the Jedi order, right? Luke withdraws and is looking for the origins of the Jedi order comes to Octu. I think this is what I think. This is just a hunch, right? Speculation. Kylo Ren turns to the dark side. Kylo or Ben Solo turns to the dark side, becomes Kylo Ren. Uh, maybe he goes and joins the Knights of Ren. They come back and kill off the other Padawans, the other Padawan uh, learners, right? And, and Luke is like, you know what? Maybe Luke has been teaching the old way, the old way, what was being taught. And is, I got to get back to the source. How, how are the Jedi? Because somewhere something has gone wrong. I've got to fix this ship and figure out where the Jedi went wrong and write the ship. And I'm going to start with Ray. I'm the last Jedi, literally, like Luke Skywalker has vanished. The First Order are are looking for the last Jedi to wipe him out because they don't want the Jedi Order to return. And Luke is like, this happened, this Jedi purge happened before. Who knows if it happened uh, before in the past, during the Old Republic time, right? Because it did happen, you know, in Legends uh, with Revan and with the Jedi Exile, or what was her name? I forgot. Um, uh, Mitra Surik, that's it, right? So there was a Jedi Purge there, sort of, um, in Knights of the Old Republic, the Sith Lords, right? But we don't know if there's ever been a Jedi Purge, like, in canon. Not yet. Maybe there was, you know, in the, the Great Scourge of Malachor, right? Uh, there could have been a Jedi Purge there, too, that wiped out half the Jedi in the Sith Order. We'll have to wait and find out when Pablo and Rain, my girlfriend Rain Roberts, <laughs> she's going to kill me for saying that, um, and, and, and the rest and Kathleen Kennedy and them decide to tell that story to us, right? We'll have to wait and see. But my point is, maybe Luke is like, you know what? We have to, maybe Luke has to find a new eightfold path. And that's out of Buddhism. You got, your kids need to study. So you know what I'm talking about, right? And he's gone back to the origins of the Jedi Order to find that, to, to stop, to find the cessation of suffering, the cessation of Jedi turning to the dark side, being seduced by the dark side and saying, we've got to stop being the hoarders of knowledge. We've got to spread these teachings out, right? We've got to re this church of the force movement. We've got to breathe life into that. We should be the leaders of that, spreading it through the galaxy. I said this in another video and somebody was like, Prince, you always refer to legends. You can't prove it. And it's not me trying to use legends to prove something. It's me saying, this is how it was in legends. We don't know how it is in the, in the current continuity, but it could be the same, right? Because we had Jedi spread throughout the galaxy and legends. There was this web, right? There was this web that they created of the light side in the Sith, uh, Dark Tenebris's master pierced the veil and it weakened the Jedi's ability to, to, uh, control the dark side, right? Now, what I'm saying is that maybe you don't have that web, right? But you've, you still got Jedi spread throughout the galaxy and the creation of the Clone Wars and the different things, the different skirmishes and situations that Palpatine was manipulating was to keep the Jedi confused. So maybe they get rid of the idea of this web, but there's still that same idea that you've got Jedi spread all over the place. Now they're confused 
And and now you can do whatever you want because they're up running around dealing with all this other stuff, you know, because the Sith are are, are, are keeping them on there. They're making them reactionary. Um, right. They're reacting all the time and they can't they can't keep their mind straight. Right. But what I what I'm saying is that. Instead of taking on all that responsibility, they should have been teaching. Right. You want to spread the light side of the force. Do it by being a teacher, just like what they did with Saw Gerrera on Onderon, right? See how I'm connecting things? They say we cannot wage a rebellion on Onderon. We don't have the resources, but we can train the people of Onderon to become soldiers, right? And what it, what ended up happening is uh, Saw Gerrera goes on to be one of the first leaders of this re of this formal rebellion, right? Same situation that I see with what our, our, our state of the galaxy. If we're going to talk about what's happening, you know, moving forward, you've got to think about beyond the Jedi and the first and Snoke and Kylo Ren, right? You got to think about the galaxy as a whole. You've got a limited number of resources going up against an unlimited number of resources. Like to pull from Lord of the Rings, it's like uh, the dude and I, I don't know what's his name, Sauron. And he's got orcs and they've got unlimited resources and you've got these very limited resources. So you've got to pull out all the stops. Right. And that's what I'm saying is that Luke has to find a new way. He's got to instruct Ray and Ray has to be the one to to lead the fight, lead the charge uh against the mystical the mystical arm of the first order so is she gonna fall to the dark side me personally i don't think so but we'll have to wait and see but what do you guys think let me hear your thoughts down below and i'll be checking back to see what you have to say if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so that you can take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Go ahead, make some positive changes in your life uh, and in the lives of others through your love of Star Wars. Anyway, continue to check out the channel. We got um, a really fresh design going up on the T-Republic store inspired by the Rogue One uh, poster. And uh, continue to check out some other videos on the channel and uh, show us some love. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing and may the force of others be with you always.